Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and it's time for our final episode of Carving a Little Guy. Now this is where we've got to, we've tidied everything up. Um, yeah, and again, this is the very first one I've ever done. Um, it's by no means perfect. Um, but I figured what I would do today is do a little bit of painting. Um, and hopefully, you know, a little bit of colour on there. It will give a bit of definition and hopefully bring it to life a little bit. Um, so what I've got here is just a fairly cheap and cheerful uh, pack of acrylic paint. Um, so I'm informed acrylic paint is the way to go with this kind of thing. Um, so what I think I'll do, I'll probably set the camera up as usual. Um, I'm not gonna do the whole thing, even if I try and fast forward it, because I'm gonna have to let certain areas dry and so on and so forth. So I think I'll just slot in a few clips of just me painting various bits of it so you can see what I'm doing. And I'll bring you back at the end so you can see the final results. Right then guys, so here we are, the end of several weeks worth of carving. And I said at the beginning of this um, this series that I wanted to kind of do it as step by step as I could. And I realise that's been boring for some people at times, um, but I really wanted to give you the opportunity to kind of do this step by step with me. Um, and I certainly hope some of you have done. Anyway, so here to the end result. This is... Um, the finished product. Um, hopefully you can recognise this little guy's rugged good looks. Um, hopefully it makes some sort of resemblance. But uh, you know, all in all, it's not turned out too bad. I mean, as I said, my painting skills are not particularly great. There's a lot of lines in there where I've gone over a little bit and marked things and stuff like that. But but actually, you know, I'm relatively pleased with it. You know, these are not meant to be pristinely perfect. I'm sure, you know, people can paint a lot better than I can and they will look a lot better than this. But you know, the idea is they're meant to be a bit rustic, a little bit rugged. Um, and while I've been doing this series, I've been doing, a, I actually started carving another couple of little figures. Um, the reason being, um, I wanted to sort of practice um, certain bits that I, I was told were sort of quite tricky and easy to get wrong. Um, so 
this one, and I've named him Donald. Um, and actually, you know, this one, very, very similar. Um, the only real difference is I've put some hair on him. You know, he's a bit blocky. Um, you know, I do need to work on that. Um, and both of these, where are we? There we are. Both of these were made with a piece of um, pine from a DIY shop. So I just picked up the first sort of inch by inch um, bit of batten that I could find. And it's not been the easiest thing to carve with, I'll be honest. Um, this guy here, um, and I'll give you a close up in a second, I made this out of a piece of birch. I had a few offcuts lying around and I essentially just sort of uh, split it down until I roughly squared it off um, and then started from there. Um, now this is Bob um, and I'm really really pleased with how this has turned out and it's still a little bit square, a little bit blocky um, but I think it's actually turned out really really nicely um, and one of the main reasons for that, just to give you an example, when I came to do this one um, you know, the arms, I was following along with that book that I had, um, and it, it had arms like this, and they've turned out okay, you can tell their arms. Um, but I was doing a bit of Googling, and someone uh, online suggested, why don't you put the hands in the pockets and put a bit of a crook in the arm? Um, that way you can kind of see them from behind, you can see them from the side, and you can see them sort of from the front, although I guess, you know, he is pretty thin, um, so I could have gone, could have gone a bit deeper there. Um, but you know, I think that actually looks a lot nicer. Um, I tried carving a little hat on, um, which I think turned out really well. And just generally, you know, kind of the putting on of the trousers and all this kind of thing, it actually all worked out pretty well. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I hope you've enjoyed, oh, I'm throwing everything everywhere. I hope you've enjoyed this series. Um, I've really enjoyed making these. They are a little bit tricky, a little bit technical. Um, and it's the kind of thing, one of the reasons this has taken so long is that I've been sitting there doing a very small amount um, sort of every now and again, you know, obviously you guys have seen this once a week, I've been doing it a little bit more regularly than that, um, but you know, you do kind of need time to get a feel for it, um, so you know, I had a couple on the go, so I was experimenting with certain things, um, and you know, it's been really enjoyable. Um, I personally, I found a sort of a standard pocket knife, pen knife like this, um, you know, this kind of affair, it was okay, um, but I actually ended up using my um, little Mora 120 and my Mora 106, uh, which are my regular go-to carving knives anyway, Scandi grind, very pointy tip on them, and I found they cut a lot, lot better for stuff like this. There's absolutely no doubt you could do this with just a normal pocket knife, Swiss Army knife, that kind of thing, um, but you know, for me, Doing stuff like this, it was much easier and much more enjoyable using something like my Mora. So anyway guys, comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I hope you'll all join me next time. Cheers guys.